Social Security is running out of money. But don't worry. Our presidents always say they will strengthen and save Social Security. Safeguard Social Security. I'll save Social Security. Except, unfortunately, none will really save it. Here's the problem. Years ago, government made us a promise. Social Security is a program you can count on now and in the future. Even if you don't save for your retirement, government will save for you. We are with you through life's journey. Social Security, securing today and tomorrow. But the program doesn't secure tomorrow. The politicians misled us. They didn't save your Social Security payments. They spent every penny the moment they came in. But most people don't know that. What happens to that money? Well, hopefully it's held in trust. Actually, they spent it. <sighs> so what's there going to be for me? When politicians began old age programs, they assumed there'd be enough young workers to tax to cover the cost of sending checks to old people, people like me. But people like me are living longer these days, so there aren't enough young people to pay for us. As a result, Social Security is going broke. This year, it went into the red for the first time. Well, there is a plan out there to save it, but it requires some tough choices. The Heritage Foundation proposes cutting payments to rich people and raising the retirement age to 70. There are some common sense tweaks that we can common make. Common sense to you, you're young. Well, you know what happened is that when Social Security actually was founded, life expectancy was below 65. The purpose of the program was to protect those few lucky ones that outlived everybody else. Or today the vast majority live past 65. Social Security now has a $32 trillion shortfall. You expecting to collect Social Security from the government? No, I doubt it. I suppose it's progress that this was the first time talking to people on the street when most people understood the problem. It's just a question of how much money we're going to print or borrow. I mean, we're already at a trillion dollars a year. Social Security is kind of like the Titanic, a ship heading for an iceberg. This is a massive ship that moves very slowly. If we start making reforms now, we can avoid the iceberg. If we wait until we can see the iceberg right in front of our noses and then we try to turn the ship, we're going to run right into it. Medicare will hit its iceberg in just eight years. Then benefits will automatically be cut. Social Security will hit it in 15 years. What's to be done? The Democrats say, spend even more. You don't cut Social Security, you expand it. Nearly every Democrat in the United States Senate has voted in favor of expanding Social Security. Human wants and needs are unlimited. There's always another need, another program that needs more funding. And pay for it by taxing rich people. That's part of uh, my commitment to raise taxes on the wealthy. Just tax the rich. There isn't enough money even that the rich would have to pay for the 200 trillion in unfunded liabilities that we already have on the books. So where young people worry, do you ever think about Social Security? I actually don't. I'm still, I still feel like I'm too young to know about it. When you're old, how are you going to support yourself? I have no idea. It's a failed system, really, because it's, it's almost like a big Ponzi scheme. One partial solution proposed by Heritage and others is to let workers put some of their Social Security money into personal retirement accounts. Just imagine being able to own and control your own retirement dollars. They could invest it in businesses that could grow the economy, whatever rocks your boat. Private accounts would almost certainly pay you more than Social Security. Even a conservative portfolio of stocks and bonds that got you about a 5% annual return, you would make many times more. Private accounts have been tried in a few countries. The investment they created helped Chile rise from one of the poorest countries in Latin America to the richest. And yet, private accounts are still a hard sell. Even in Chile, leftists subject to capitalists getting a cut of the pie. The demonstrators are calling for an end to the management of pensions by private financial institutions. We lack gratitude for what the free market provides. That is difficult to wrap your head around. It's easy to think, oh, 
here is the government, this is where I go. Private accounts are also unpopular in America. We will never let the Republicans cut or privatize Social Security. We won't allow cuts to Social Security or Medicare. What you guys are pushing is the right thing to do, but it's not popular. It is not popular, but I think people don't fully understand how these programs work. What happens to that money? Goes into a pool, I guess. You know, they actually don't keep it in the trust fund. They spend it right away. Didn't know that. When I get my paycheck, a lot of it goes to taxes, and I see the Social Security part of it, and it's like $30 of my whole paycheck. You would rather keep that 30 bucks and put it in your own savings account? Yeah. I would. The country's in a deficit. There's a point where you can't pay out and go in the negative forever. She's right. Far better to fix old age programs now rather than have them suddenly go bankrupt later.